Amazing. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Amazing. Amazing. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Amazing. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. We're talking about some of the products I did not like, girl. I'm very disappointed. So this makeup look, girl, because you know I love like tribal type makeup. My fat ass was on Instagram scrolling around, not bother. And I found this guy's makeup and I was like so inspired. So shout out to him. And I love it so much. So these are the makeup products that I recently bought. Cosmetic, skincare, whoop de whoop de woo. And I thought they were just so bust at the house. I'm like, you know what? I feel scammed. I feel, I feel like... I got scammed, so you don't have to, girl. So I'm going to tell you what it is I didn't like. Now, it might work for you, but it didn't work for my fat ass, girl. So I'm just going to spill you the tea. All right, so the first product I have here is this gold mask. The 24 karat gold mask. 24 karat gold mask by Peter Thomas Ross, girl. Ugh. Somebody said that Peter Thomas Ross is like some basic brand that people in school use. I don't know if that's any true. I have no idea. But anyways, I'm going to open it up. I've been using it the last couple of days. I saw no difference. Hold on. It has like a little bit of a smell to it, but nothing crazy. Uh, when you put it on your face, it, your face doesn't look totally golden, like as in this type of yellow type gold. It doesn't look like that. It looks kind of weird. But what it says it does, it did not do like firming and all that stuff. Girl, maybe my face is just so fat, girl. It doesn't get firm, girl. Who knows? But you know, you know what made me buy this though, honestly, is... Uh, you know, like the whole makeup trend with whole 24 hour, what, 24 karat gold face mask. Like, okay, that's cool. I, that's why I wanted to try it. But it wasn't until Gigi Anything for Views Gorgeous did a review as one of her favorites. And I was like, oh, well, you know, let me try it out. Girl, she done lied the house. And I've also noticed that people have been talking about. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Amazing. She was saying that she loves something. She never even tried it in the damn video. Oh, I love this palette. It's my favorite. No swatches. Never used it. She was like, I haven't used it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be my favorite. Something like that, girl. Don't quote me. But I'm just like, girl. That's busted the house. This Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. I love the Peter Thomas Roth collection as well. Anyway, so I thought this would work out. It didn't work out. It just looks cool. But you know what though? I'm starting to think that it's kind of like this whole trend of like just feeling bougie, girl. Like bad and bougie. I want to feel bad and bougie. And so if you want to feel bad and bougie, girl, but it ain't going to work, girl, definitely spend $40 on this busted ass thing, girl. Because you'll feel sickening having it on and walking around the house and you're full robe girl just you know you know i like a robe that's just very long girl if you want to walk around your house in your long robe girl having this 24 karat gold face mask watching your lifetime girl television for women and there's a knock at the door and you go over there and you oh which then again i wouldn't even answer a knock at the door because if you don't call me i ain't picking up girl but it just on case there's a knock at the door you do pick up they're gonna see you in your full robe girl and 24 karat face mask but you know what though honestly like Okay, that's how I picture Nikki Tutorials, girl. I picture Nikki Tutorials literally like just laying in her bed on her little laptop with her $5,000 mask on, just Googling away, girl. Ah, girl, the life. But anyways, girl, this did not work for me, so I got scammed, so you don't have to. All right, so the next thing I got, it's like so petty of me to even talk about, girl, is gonna be this right here. I love it so much, not really. This was the Wet n Wild Contour Stick. Girl, it looks so weird. Like, you put it on, I feel like it picks up every pore, every hair. Girl, I did not like this at all. I tried it under my eyes. I gave me a sickening little contour, girl. Not bother. Did not, it did not work for me. I mean, look, and it's just like, it's just so easy to come off, too. I mean, look at that. It's so easy to come off, too. It's just gone. But anyways, girl, that's how I feel about that. But this was, I think it was like $4, $6, somewhere around there. Really wasn't that expensive. At the same time, it felt like kid makeup. Like when I put it on, I could see all my little pores. And I was like, girl, this must be like some type of kid makeup or something. Because it did not work for me. Okay, girl, I was, okay, do not come for me, girl. Because I know y'all love, y'all just rate a comment, girl, in the comments down below. But hear me out, girl. So you know the other day, I bought that whole Tarte Cosmetics Pack Your Bag. These, right? I bought these, okay? I don't even know how much these were. I think, okay, these are like, what, 20 bucks, girl? I used it, okay? I used two of them the other day. Girl, no difference at all. I saw nothing. 
nothing, girl. It did not work for me, so I feel like this was a total gimmick, girl. But then again, like I said, if you just feel like feeling the fantasy, girl, if you feel like spending money, girl, then go ahead and waste your money on these craps. But you already know my fat ass from being in movie theaters wearing these little patches, girl, and my white mask, girl. But can you imagine, like, because somebody had put in the comments, I started laughing so hard. They're like, can you imagine, like, being in the movie theater, right? And you're watching, like, a scary movie, and I'm sitting there with my white mask on, and then the lights turn on, and I'm like, people are going to be like, ah! Girl, I start laughing. Oh my god, it's that. I start laughing my ass. That's so hilarious, girl. The movie's over. You're walking around with your mask on. People are like, what the hell is going on with this fool? But anyways, girl, I would still use them on the plane, like, just to feel bad and bougie, girl. They're copying another brand that does the same thing because it feels so similar to something else. But I can't put my finger on it, though. But I just didn't, I don't know. I just saw no difference, girl. We really didn't like it. But you know what, though? The shady part is, I would totally buy it again just to feel the fantasy and have a face mask on. Or eye patches, you get what I'm saying? Even though I know it doesn't work, there's something like psychological in it that you just feel, well, my, my new word, psychologicalness in it that makes you feel like you're it's working. Girl, who knows? All right, so the other day, I did this whole review on these whole Morphe brushes, girl, right here. I got scammed, so you don't have to, girl. These brushes, I did not like, girl. I mean, here they are, and they're full glory, girl, not bother. You see, I use some of them there. But, I don't know, I just feel like, they're, girl, they're too hairy, girl, and the hair falls out, I'm not bothered. I'd rather just spend my money on another type of brand. But you know what? Because I, I kind of want to try, like, BH Cosmetics brushes, too, because I heard those were really good. Okay, another thing I didn't like, girl, when I talked about this in another video, was this Bosha, Bosha, I don't even know how to say the name, this mask, the black one. Honestly, I feel like people are obsessed with, like, having, like, the black mask on, and they're pulling it off, and they're yelling that it hurts so much, and stuff like that. I don't know if this is it. But if the one that I'm talking about, you know where it's at, just put the link below and I'll I'll try to get it, girl. But I feel like this brand, again, it just makes you feel the fantasy that it's working and then it doesn't. Again, the whole like psychologicalness. But like if I have friends come over and we're gonna hang out, I would totally like just put this on all our faces so we could feel glamorous, girl. Not bother putting on our makeup and our little mask. It looks sickening, girl. Rolling back the hands of time. I, I just feel like there's something in that. I feel like the experience is kind of like worth more than the price. So like not to be like totally negative, girl, but there are some things that I recently purchased that I want to share with you. So a couple seasons ago, I went to Target, girl, and there's like this brand. It's called, it's right here. It's called like Sonia. So Sonia Kosh Hook or so Sonia, something like that. This is the brand name right here, girl. Okay, I wanted these brushes so bad. They're like $20. And I didn't have the money to buy them at that time, right? So I went to Target the other day and like, of course, they still have the brand, but they changed these, but they changed the style of brushes all the time. So they had like colorful ones and golden ones. It's just weird, girl. They had all different colors. I feel like every season they change the style. So I was like, but I wanted the black and white one, which is this one, because it reminds me of this brand called Mackenzie Childs. And if you know anything about Mackenzie Childs, girl, like it's not a brand that like the hip girls like to use, but it's like one of those mature brands that if you have like a lot of money, girl, you're just not bothered and you're a mature woman or man, you're not buying it. But they make like like stuff for the house, right? Teapots, umbrella holders, and stuff like that. And it's all with this type of design right here. Mackenzie Childs, girl, not sponsored, but check it out. It's worth watching. I do have some cute stuff on there. But I was like, this reminds me of that. And I love, I love it to match black and white make, uh, black and white stuff. Like, I just love the aesthetic of black and white. The only place I could get it was going to be like eBay or Amazon. So I went there and I found it. And I found this one for like $16. <laughs> And I can't wait to use them. But yeah, so here it is in the back. That's the name and all the details in the back. But do y'all know anything about this brand? Because I really, this, I've, this is my first time using their actual brushes. I bought it because of the aesthetic. But I know they're pretty good because, I mean, they sell it at Target. And I kind of feel like Target picks really good stuff out to sell. So I can't wait to use these brushes. But it's like, they're all synthetic brushes and they're like dense dome brushes buffing brushes and stuff like that but there's a foundation brush a powder brush a multi-purpose brush and like a buffing brush and so yeah and oh oh girl here's the tea limited edition and it is limited edition because this never came back 
This style never came back. So I was like, you know what? I'm so excited to try them. Y'all been telling me to try BH Cosmetics so much, right? So I did. So I did. So I went to the website, right? And I bought this one right here. Oh my god. This is Take Me to Brazil by BH Cosmetics. So if you kind of noticed this video, I started talking about stuff I hate. And then this is like the new stuff I just bought. So we'll see if I love it, girl. But, because I want to end it like on a positive note. But this is the makeup here. Ooh, and it has all these different colors. Let me move this film here. I haven't used it. I literally got it today like in the mail. And it has like this white and these little colors here. And I really do like... I really like the colors, but what I like about it, if you're not that type of girl that likes, like, colors, then I would say that you could use these right here. This reminds me of Juvia's Planet Girl, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, these, like, no neutrals, I think, for everybody could use these. But, you know, me, girl, I like the green, I like the yellow, and the blues. Oh, I can't wait to try them on. And it comes with a little mirror. And guess how much this palette was, girl? This palette with the mirror was literally $12. And I think it's one of their newest palettes too, girl. It says, this palette is designed for the color obsessed, inspired by Brazil's most famous festival carnival. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool to have added to my collection because you know I love colorful palettes, girl. I love to match. And then, because I ordered from BH Cosmetics, it came with this. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, what what is this? Liquid eyeliner, girl. So they gave this, they gave this to me for free for ordering on their website. I thought that was pretty cool. I guess they want you to try other stuff. But, um, yeah, so here we go. A little liquid eyeliner huh, under the house. Let's see. Boo. Oh, wow. Actually, looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. 12 bucks. You get a badass palette with the mirror and a liquid eyeliner, which if you're a girl and you use black eyeliner, girl, you know what I'm talking about. We use a lot of it. And it came with this card here. Yeah, so there we go. But anyways, girl, that was my busted ass video, girl. Smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about these products. If you would buy them, if you wouldn't buy them. If you got any suggestions, girl, leave it down below. And I'll see you next video. Peace.